Good morning. A special welcome to all of you who are visiting St. Teresa's. Today we celebrate the 25th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Before we do begin our Mass, let us all stand up and say hello to our neighbors. Introduce yourselves to those you don't know and say hi to those you do.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, we come together this morning, this beautiful morning, very special, beautiful morning, cool morning. We come together to pray, to pray as brothers and sisters, to pray as a family of God. And since we are sinners, let us humble ourselves and ask for God's mercy and pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I will greatly sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done, in what I've failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked say, let us beset the just one. 
because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put the just one to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, 
there is disorder in every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? Is it not from your passions that make war within your members? You covet, but do not possess. You kill and envy, but you cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask, but do not receive, because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus and his disciples came down the mountain and began to go through Galilee. But he did not want anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples in this vein. The Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men who put him to death. Three days after his death, he will rise. Though they failed to understand his words, they were afraid to question him. They returned to Capernaum, and Jesus, once inside the house, began to ask them, what were you discussing on the way home? At this they fell silent, for on the way they had been arguing about who was the most important. So he sat down and he called the twelve around him and said, If anyone wishes to rank first, he must remain the last, the last one of all and the servant of all. Then he took a little child, stood him in their midst, and putting his arms around him, said to them, whoever welcomes a child such as this for my sake, welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me, welcomes not me, but him who sent me. This is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, I have just uh, read the gospel, and the gospel, in the gospel, where Jesus is talking about, he brings a child, a child in the midst of all the, the disciples. And I see children close just nearby here in front and other children on the other side and uh, so uh, I have been uh, I'm in the education sector I've been a teacher for so many <laughs> for so many years and I'm still in the education system so when I see children I see the future when I see children I see the future 
But when I see the children also, I feel we have, as part of the society, we have got a big responsibility, big response, big responsibility to take care, to take care of the society of today and take care of the society of tomorrow, take care of the, the church, the humanity, at, at the, the whole humanity of today, tomorrow, rise, lies in the children. And the, the children, they are a symbol, we know, you know, the children are a symbol of so many things, humility, a symbol of humility, innocence. I know teachers, even parents, when we are talking to children, wherever we guide them, whenever we send them, they will go. Wherever we guide them, they go. That humility and that innocence, without even questioning, and may God bless those who, are, who take care of the, the children, teachers, the parents, of course, they are the first, the first, the first teachers, they are the key teachers, they are, they are everything, parents and teachers together, working together to, uh, to, 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 to strengthen the, the society, to, to strengthen the, the community, the church, the nation, and, and so on and so forth. And Jesus is bringing the child, and he wants to make a point. And uh, if you have followed these three weeks, Jesus is talking about himself. He's talking about his identity. He's talking about his identity and, and, and his mission. And he still wants his, his disciples, his apostles, to understand who Jesus is, his identity, but most of all, above all, the, the consequences of his mission. The cost, let me put it this way, the cost of his mission, the cost of being a disciple, the cost of discipleship, the cost of discipleship, what it, it, what it entails. And uh, you can imagine on a journey, we are all, my dear friends, we are all journeying with Jesus. Even as we come to pray together, we are on a journey, not journeying alone, but journeying with Jesus. Now, the, the, Jesus is with his disciples, journeying through Galilee. And on their way, they are talking, but he's teaching them. And he's, the, the Son of Man is going to, to be handed over, he's going to suffer. But after three days, he's going to rise. Something might have go, uh, something might have caught the attention of of the disciples of Jesus. That's why they were they, they were discussing. And Jesus asked, "What are, what, what were you arguing about?" Uh, uh, I think they felt something. They they kept silent because they were arguing who is the greatest, who is the greatest. As I was reflecting and and praying over pondering over the today's gospel. I was wondering, oh my God, had I been one of the disciples of Jesus, what could, have, what could I have been thinking about? Jesus is talking about being handed over, suffering, and dying. What could I have been thinking about had I been one of the, the disciples, the apostles of Jesus? I would have thought, oh, our, our Lord is going to be handed over. Our Lord is going to, be, to suffer. <laughs> I don't know where they were, were they arguing who was going to take over? It's questioning me. But as we as we ponder, as we ponder on the gospel, as we ponder on the on the holy scriptures, sacred scriptures, were they wondering were they arguing who was to take over? It's question mark. It's question mark. But as Jesus brings a child in the Middle East of, of, of them, when they came back from Galilee to, to Capernaum, and putting his hand, then he took a little child, stood him in their midst, and putting his arms around him, and said to them, whoever will come as a child, such as this, for my sake, will come as me. And whoever will come as me, will come as not me, but him who sent me. Growing as a disciple. Growing as a disciple of Jesus. Growing while praying, God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Growing as a disciple of Jesus. Growing, but, but growing while praying. 
growing while, while reading his word and trying to understand. Growing or engaging ourselves in our community, in our, in our own family, in our own family, but growing, serving. Growing, serving. Not only serving ourselves, but serving others. That's growing as a disciple of Jesus. And this reminds me of the word ad gloriam. Ad maiorem gloriam day. All for the greater glory of God. I love this. What I do, do I do it for myself? Or do I do it for myself, maybe to be very inclusive also, <laughs> to be inclusive? Do I do it for myself with, and, and, and for others? Is it always myself, mine, 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 me first? Or it's me with others and for others and with others? This is the question that each and every one of us, including myself, that I, again, oh, we are called to be disciples. We are going to, we are called to go there and serve. Is it serving to be served? But it's serving with others and for others. This is, this is, this is, uh, this is a, 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 a question of reflection that uh, I would, myself and you together, all of us together as brothers and sisters, and the question, is it for the greater glory of God? I know, I, I, I know, I know as, as a teacher, I, I used to tell the, 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 I always tell the, the students, you know, you have to, to work hard. You have, and the sky should be the limit. You have to be great. In uh, wanting to be great, is it for me alone? It's for my, for my family, with my family, for my community, with my community. My dear friends, God calls each and every one of us to grow, to grow in holiness, to grow as servants, to grow engaging ourselves for others, with others as part of the community. But... Jesus reminds us that the more we serve, the, the more we serve, there will, be, it's, there will be challenges. And how do we go about those challenges? As we read from the first reading from the, from the, the, the book of wisdom, the wisdom from above. And St. James also in, the, in, the, in his letter, he said, the wisdom from above. Where do we rely our, our strength? Is it out of charity? Is it out of love for others? Is it out of that faithfulness and discipleship of Jesus, wanting to emulate Jesus, who calls each and every one of us to go out there and serve? Serve others, especially those in need. The little ones like these, and serving, guiding, giving them, showing them the right way. Building the society, building the church, building the kingdom of God here on earth through us, continuing co creating. My dear friends, let us ask the good Lord to increase our faith, our love. If it requires to die just a little, just, just dying a little for others. Maybe we need to continue asking the good Lord to give us strong faith, to be faithful to him, but also knowing him and understanding his mission and asking him to help us to put his mission into practice. And the charity begins at home with these little ones, with our own families, in our own communities. And as we, as we, as, as we, as, as, as we want to be great, but let us also be the greatness with others, make others great 
you can imagine sometimes when I say, oh, uh, uh, when, when, when the students say, oh, teach, oh, Father, oh, Father Master. I can't be called Father Master if, I am, if the students are not there. We are in a community, not alone, but together as members of the community. Let us, ask, let us continue asking the good Lord to increase our faith and our love and hope that really, as Christians, we go out there and be proud of talking about Jesus and be proud of being the faithful servants of God. May you rise, we confess our faith. I believe in one God. The only God and Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God. The God in that man, the conscious angel of the Father. Through him all things are made. sake, he was crucified on a Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in the third day and he will never die. And he said, Oh my God, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Lord of God, who proceed from the Father and the Son. And the Father and the Son is the Lord of the Father. United in the spirit who helps us to pray rightly, let us ask the Lord to give us and all people whatever is for our good that the Lord will show great care for leaders of the church and sustain them in their call to humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That the Lord will show great care for our parish catechists and guide them in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the Lord will show great care for the victims of injustice and prejudice and rescue them from their foes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord will show great care for the dead and raise them up to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us ask the Lord to show great care for us as we remember our needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For the parishioners of St. Teresa of Avila, both living and deceased, let us pray to the Lord. We also pray for all victims of violence in the city of Chicago. For Sergio Allen, Michael Sisko, Terrell Glass, Achilles Besley, and Austin Wayne. We pray to the Lord. Oh, prayer. And we pray for all those who are in special need of our prayers for those for whom we have promised to pray, and for those for whom we pause to remember in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, great and everlasting is your care for us. Receive these prayers we have made to you and answer them for the sake of your beloved Son. We make all our prayers through Christ our Lord. May those who are attending RCIA, may you please continue your guidance with your teachers. Thank you. Our second collection today is for the Seminary Education Fund.
Behold, behold the Lamb of God, behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are going to be
let us pray. Precious be praise of all those who renew this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. There will be a second information for the formation of seminarians. And there will also be a few announcements. May you please take your seats as we take the second information and listen to a few announcements. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Hello, my name is Kim Brisley, and as we reflect on the many gifts we have at St. Teresa's uh, Parish, we're grateful for so much, including our new parishioners. We'd like to welcome them every year with a special dinner that we're going to host on October 9th at 5.45 p.m. We have sent out email invitations to these new parishioners, but if you haven't received one or know someone who would like to join us, please let us know. I'll be in the back of uh, church after mass, or you can let our uh, church office know who's attending. We encourage uh, partners and family members for a wonderful evening. So thank you and enjoy your Sunday. Hello, my name is Kelsey Klopchak and I'm here on behalf of the Finance Council. We wanted to share our results for the fiscal year that ended June 30th. Oh. The table on the screen is also printed in this week's bulletin. You can see from the table that we ended the sur with a surplus of $240,000, mostly due to investments. Excluding those, our operating surplus was $22,000, which was similar to last year, and $51,000 better than budgeted, and continues the parishes over a decade-long string of positive results. This long track record is only made possible by your generous support. This year's collections, fundraising, and other revenue all exceeded prior year and budget. Most notable is other revenue, which was largely due to generous contributions, contributions in May after a capital appeal. This went towards the HVAC and roof repairs. Thank you. Our plan for the fiscal year ahead forecast a small deficit, but we will once again work towards a net surplus. However, we are off to a slow start in July and August with collections already, uh, already $15,000 below budget and prior year. In line with this year's results, collections are only expected to cover two-thirds of our expenses. Your support of the upcoming Together and Joy Gala is essential to our success. I will be in the back of church if you have questions or you can reach out to the parish office. We know that it takes a lot to run a parish and are truly grateful for everyone who attends Mass and shares their time, talent, and treasures with our St. Teresa community. Thank you. In the words of Joey from the television show Friends, how you doing? How you doing? Can I just tell you, standing at this lectern, you're all amazing. And with that thought in mind, we are together in joy. You see how I did that? She said together in joy, and I'm here to talk to you about together in joy. My name's Kevin, I'm part of the talented committee that uh, is putting on this year's event, and we need you. If you have not purchased your ticket, it's time to do so. On page 11, this is called product placement, Page 11, you'll see everything about Together and Joy. We're looking for sponsors, we're looking for volunteers, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be memorable. It gets better and better and better every year because of all of us, the community. And this helps us run this church, as she just said, to take care of the community. It's not me, it's we. So with that said, that's it. That's all I got. Page 11, all right? Have a great day. And thank you. With that, let us ask God's blessings. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
our masses end and go out to love and serve the Lord. Thank you. Have a wonderful week.